The parents of Vera Omozua, a 23-year-old rape victim in Edo State, are calling on relevant authorities to apprehend those complicit in the rape and murder of their daughter. The case, which was packed, which has sparked nationwide outrage, has continued to generate reactions across the country. The parents, while narrating the incident, say they have been left devastated by the gruesome murder of their daughter and want justice. At church, go read. So the same thing. I do that same day. So later in the evening, I receive phone call, say, me and they come. Say, person will call me, say, no, no, I they do my daughter. Now I tell them, go. As I reach there, I come meet, meet her. The stage where I tell me, meet her. Mm -mm. How even one brother who thief, they know they beat her like that. They beat her, tear her pants, rape. I see her from her head to her toe, blood. Fully body. The Sipataza took her to the private hospital in Oma at Ubuso. When I go there, I look at the condition. This was around that kind of 889. And, and the management of the hospital now told me that I should go to police. That without going to the police, then we stop the treatment. I went to the police division that wrote me to make a reference later by taking the girl to a better hospital like UBT, a government hospital, where I know there are facilities. Mm -hmm. Then it, it came to my mind that let me visit the scene of crime this, this time. Let me see what happened. And I went there, where they now went and brought the kid of the church from somewhere. They opened, where they see blood on the floor of the church. That the girl was beaten up here with full of blood and it was dragged to this place. Uh, fire extinguisher was there, and the fire extinguisher was even damaged. For fire extinguisher to be damaged, you no, know, because it was the weapon used by the people to, to, to damage the guest's life. Fingerprint expert actually lifted the fingerprint on the cylinder while the lady was taken to a normal hospital in Ovedere, Ibobahi, Benin City, for treatment. While she was with a normal, still in a state of coma, a normal hospital referred her to the University Teaching Hospital, University of Benin Teaching Hospital.